New water doesn't get created. The amount of water in the world has been the same for millions of years, but water does change its form and where it's stored. Some water is stored as ice in the polar regions and glaciers or in underground aquifers. But the vast amount of the world's water is stored in the sea, 95%. The hydrological cycle is a cycle. It doesn't have a start or an end, but we can start looking at it with evaporation, which is when the sun's heat changes liquid water into water vapour. This happens at the surface of the sea and from water surfaces on land. Evaporation is the main way that water vapour enters the atmosphere, but transpiration is another way too. This is when plants breathe water vapour into the air. Warm air can hold more moisture than cool air. When the water vapour in the atmosphere is cooled, it forms liquid water again. This is called condensation. It is this process that creates clouds. The water droplets formed by condensation fall as precipitation, rain, sleet, snow, hail. Some falls back into the sea, some onto the land. When precipitation falls onto the land, the water starts its journey back to the sea again in a process called runoff. There are a number of different ways it does that. Overland flow or surface runoff is when the water runs over the surface of the ground until it reaches a stream or river or the sea itself. When the water enters the ground, that is called infiltration. The water percolates downwards through the soil and rock until it reaches groundwater. Through flow describes the flow of water through the ground in a layer between the surface and the groundwater store. Groundwater flow is the flow of water through the groundwater store, underground, to rivers and then to the sea.